why do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile do you know how much I love you you put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just hello you lovely people Uh, I feel like I'm in a different country because I've been on the North Sea Island uh, for about two months now and I've come to the south, southeast of the island uh, today uh, to collect another parcel because I think uh, I was sending too many parcels to uh, Pern Mill. I didn't want to wind them up too much so uh, I've changed my post office delivery <laughs> to Lamlash, uh, the post office in the co-op here. Uh, so I'm down at Lamlash which is down at the southeast corner. Uh, not far from Brodick, uh, south from Brodick instead of north. So south of the island now, just come across the uh, the southwest coast, down south. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. So I've come over here to collect a, a tripod from a camera uh, from Amazon. Good old Amazon, eh? Amazon save your life, don't they? Especially when you're in an RV. Yeah, so we're down at lovely Lamlash, and uh, it's, qu it's quite a nice town, Lamlash. It's, it's probably way better than Brodick, to be honest. There's so much more eating places, cafes, diners, shops. Better co-op, in my opinion. Lots of gift shops and news agents and uh, all sorts of stuff going on here, which is lovely. A lovely town, right opposite Holy Island. Holy Island's in the Lamlash, Lamlash Bay. And it's beautiful, it's been lovely today. But, 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 in all my time on the Isle of Arran, I've never had no issues with parking anywhere. Not that I've got issues now, but in Lamlash, there's one, two, three, I think there's about four or five car parks in Lamlash. And every single one of them says no overnights, no RVs, no camper vans, no caravans which is the first that I've seen on the island. So Lamlash Council, District Council or whatever, what are you playing at? You're missing out on so many people visiting all these lovely diners you've got in this bar and all these lovely shops. You're missing out on the income from RVers. Because these four or five car parks in this bay, everyone is empty. Not a car in them. Now just imagine if there's half a dozen a dozen camper vans in the bay spending their money. That'd be a thousand pound a bloody night. Come on, Lamlash, get your bloody finger out. You're the only place on the island that I've seen so far that seems to be anti-RV camper vans while camping. Shame. Real shame, because it's absolutely beautiful here. And the other issue we've got, there's no Wi-Fi. So uh, I've been walking around for the last hour, trying to find a, a likely parking spot next to a pub or something, or a, a hotel where I can hook up onto their Wi-Fi. And I found one just down there by the co-op. The only place in the bay that you've got room to park a, a camper van. It's on the road, like, but you've got a lovely view of Holy Island, so it's a lovely spot, even, even though it's on the road, very quiet road anyway. It's not far from the co-op and I can hopefully hook into the hotel. And the hotel, they do a three-course special, 20 quid. That sounds all right, doesn't it? So what a shame, what a shame. All these lovely car parks with the lovely views. Three, four of them. No RVs. Lamlash, get your finger out. Anyway, we'll have a look at Lamlash. I'm going to stay for a few days if I can get hooked up to a, a hotel Wi-Fi. Otherwise, I can't stay here. It'll just be in and out. But we'll have a look, eh? It's me rambling again. Having a bit of a rant again. Lamlash, come on. Get it sorted. If you want to make some money in the winter, in your community, in your five or six car parks, just put three bays for camper vans, RVs. Three bays. You know, camper vans and RVs. That's all that's allowed in each car park. And you'll make a mint. I don't understand some of these councils. I really don't understand them. Catch you later. Eye up. Eye up, Sky. Where am we? I'm looking at Sky. Hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> uh, warm welcome. Uh, another new camp. This is a cracker as well. We're right on the seafront again. Uh, 
I found this country line leading out to Lamlosh, uh, going up to the top corner of the coast. And it's a cracker, cracking camp. It's a one-way road, so it goes no further than here. But we'll have a walk up to the point so later on. I'll just show this lovely view out the window. Right. How about this for a country van life view? Wow, look at that. That's Holy Island there. Uh, just off Lamlash Bay. Uh, that's got a Tibetan monastery on the left hand corner there. I don't know if you probably can't see it for the lens. But there's a Tibetan monastery on that island. Shows you how remote that one is. I think they do ferries over there in the summertime. It's got a famous cave on there and two peaks of the island. I'll put them in the um, I'll put the peaks on the screen for you. That's Holy Island. And we're just up from Lamlash Bay, it's down that country lane there. Right up there, up the coast. This is Lamlash Bay, and it is beautiful. Another cracking camp. Look at that for a wind of view, eh? What a wind of view to wake up to. Absolutely bonkers, eh? Oh, I do love this island, it is lovely. Right, I've got some nice uh, tiger crusty bread there for sandwiches tonight. And my nice sausage and brown sauce. I've got my new tripod which was delivered to Lam Lamlas. A uh, heavy duty tripod for my camera, so we'll have a go at that later as well. Lovely jubbly, film some nice wildlife for you. Uh, I might get the drone up actually, the sun's just, uh, it's coming to the end of the day now. The sun's just uh, starting to pop up. I'll just take you outside and uh, show you this stunning camp. Some greyland geese there flying over the van. Lovely jubbly, we've got countryside all around us, which is over. We've got countryside all around us here. It's up by Clackhill Farms. Uh, I think there's some holiday pods up there. Holiday chalets up there. Is it Clack or Clash? And there's a nice walk up to the uh, up to the point there. There's that bloody idiot waving again, what an idiot. Uh, we'll have a walk up there later to the point. And uh, what a beautiful area. Got a lovely uh, countryside all around the backdrop of Christine. Is it Clack or Clash? Let's have a look. That's where we'll be having a walk later. Oh, there's another group of geese coming out. Loads of geese here, all feeding on the meadows. Is that Clash, Closh, Closh, Clushlands Point? The group of geese coming over. Gaggling geese, I think they're all grey legs. Looking for somewhere to roost for the noise. There's quite a few in this field here, you probably can't see them in the glaze of the sun. But uh, here's a lovely camp, right at the end of this lane, just up to the end of uh, Lamlash. And Lamlash is lovely, I'll do a bit of filming down at Lamlash on the way out. But Lamlash is lovely, lots of restaurants couple of shops, plenty of pubs, uh, so it's probably bigger than uh, Brodick. But uh, just out there in front of Christine we've got the glorious, the glorious, this sky. Who has sky? And we've got bins here, there's some fresh water oil, fresh water stream. And out there we've got the glorious Ollie Island. Lovely eye. When the tide comes in later, I might do a bit of spinning off these rocks. Lovely. And that leads down into the sunshine, into Lamlash Bay and Lamlash itself. Nice little picnic area, right outside Christine. How perfect is that, eh? Perfect for me breakfast. Well, it's a bit of a biting wind coming across the uh, sea. We've got some flowers there, in memory of someone. Bless them, whoever they were. So we'll have a walk up to the point later, up this trail here, and round to the far southeast of the island. Lovely jubbly. And that's our camp for tonight. Or maybe two nights. Or maybe three. Or I might stay here for the week. That's the way I rock and roll. Not in no rush. This is my life. 
This is my life, guys, so sometimes I settle in for a few nights. Lovely job, Lee. We've got a weird little burner as well, right at the back of Christine here, running into the sea. As you can see, we've got bins here, which is nice. There's a wee burn there, trickling its way into Lamlash Bay. Beautiful. That's settling sun there. We've got loads of grey lag. I don't know if you can see them, but you probably can't see them in this glaring sun. Loads of grey lag grazing in the meadow there. And the weed burn here trickles through the meadow, through the glen. That's a pretty little, that's a pretty little burn cutting through the lush green meadows. Everything's coming to light now. I mean, you can see all those geese there in the grass. Loads of them. Beautiful. Beautiful Isle of Arran again. What a stunning place, eh? There's all the grey lag there. A couple of dozen, dozen of them in the field. All settling in for the evening. Grazing on the grasses. I think they're all grey lag. There's a few flying over above as well. Lovely. There's hundreds of them in all the fields all around me. There's hundreds of these, these geese. Oh, that wind's bitter. Bitter. Won't be long before the temperatures start to creep up a little bit. Another month or so, I reckon. But uh, what a lovely camp this is, eh? Cracking camp. I love it. I love these type of camps, these nice remote camps. And look at that for a view, eh? Look at that for a view out of the, my bedroom window, at my living room window. I've got a nice dining area there as well, somewhere to have me a breakfast. Lovely, eh? Absolutely lovely. Can't beat it. You can't beat it. Wow. The hazy evening sunshine. Cold sunshine. <laughs> It's very cold. Right, let's get back to Christine. It's Sky. What are you doing, Sky? Hey, what are you doing? Oi. What are you doing? What can you see? Hey? What can you see, Sky? Come on, in, in, in. Come on, in, in. In she goes. Right, we'll get inside and have a nice, nice cup of tea, eh? Settling in for the night on this beautiful camp. Oh, we found some wonderful camps on this island. We're not even halfway through yet, uh, the tour, I don't think. How long have I been here? Just over two months. Oh, we're January, February, March, April, May, June. Oh, yeah, probably about halfway now. Another three months. Wow. Wow, what a cracking island. What an absolute cracking island. And we found some super camps. And this is one of them. This is one of them. Really lovely eye. Look at that. That's my entertainment. Watching the birds coming in as and just watching the surf down there in front of Christine. Oh, lapping up on the way in there. Looking at uh, a lovely Ollie Island across there. So, I'll settle in for the evening. I'll probably stay in a couple of nights. I've got some uploading to do, so I'll have to go back down to Lamlash and park up outside one of the pubs to get their Wi-Fi to uh, upload a video, the next video anyway. And uh, in the morning, I'll have some supper. Have a, might have a drink tonight, a couple of drinks. And, uh, 
Saturday in for the evening and in the morning we'll have a little hike up there see what that's all about see what's up there I'll get my uh, my new lens rocking and rolling with my tripod as well we'll see how the pictures turn out on that it's only a cheap nasty manual 500mm lens but uh, we'll see how that works out it might work out alright to be honest you know usually 500mm 500, 500 lens you're looking at <laughs> thousands and thousands of pounds this one was less than I think it was less than 70 quid a manual a manual one it's not got all the bells and whistles as the big posh lenses with all the optics but uh, we'll see how we get on with it this should be interesting lovely I was thinking of ordering a toaster as well because uh, I've got a toaster under my griddle there but uh, it's only just the corners like I keep having to turn them round and by the time you've done all that the toast is quite hard so I'm thinking of buying it buying a cheap toaster need a charity shop or something to plug into my all powers so I can have nice and toast nice and quickly takes a bit of time as well with my uh, griddle so it might be free, even though it's using up energy with the all powers it's free energy anyway gas is not free I have to pay for gas I don't have to pay for energy so uh, I might invest in a toaster because I do like my toast I do like pate on toast, jam on toast, lovely, egg on toast, beans on toast, I do love toast. Toast, do you love toast? I like toast. <laughs> right, I'm going to settle in for the evening and we'll go for a little meander up there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the morning. From lovely Ollie Island. Lovely jubilee. As you can see, I'm all wrapped up like a bloody pickled onion because there's a north wind and north wind today, and it is bitter and it's blowing a bit of a hooli out there. But we're going to still going to get wrapped up and get out for a nice walk. I'll show you exactly where we're going. It's guy, she's all ready to rock and roll. So it's a bit rough out there today, folks. So uh, I'll just, just show you exactly where I'm going. Right, here's a map of the island, and we are, we are here on that parking bay there right at the end of this country line it comes all the way down here from Lamlash, here's Lamlash here got Olly Island there uh, with the two uh, high uh, peaks on there uh, is it Moloch Moor uh, the biggest one right and the, obviously you've got the Tibetan monastery there as well so we're just there, we've been looking at that view all night uh, across the uh, lovely bay there Right, so we're here, so we're going to go a trek all the way down to the pines here. Uh, is it uh, Clocklands? Clocklands Point, do you say that? Uh, Hamilton Island. Uh, I think there is like a um, World War II shelter up there as well. And it's a bit rough up there. And the path goes all the way around uh, up to Brodick. But uh, we're not going that far today. We're just going to have a little, little wander to the point here, up to the uh, point there. Lovely jubbly. So, uh, lovely. So, I hope you're all cosy and warm wherever you are in your homes or your, your vans or your camper vans watching me going out in the cold <laughs> for another adventure. Anyway, let's crack on. We'll see how this mic works as well. This DJI mic works because it's really, really windy today. We'll see how it copes in the wind, the big winds. Lovely. Right, Sky. Should we go? Let's go, baby. Right, here we go, through the gates. It's really, really windy. There's Christine in this lovely camp. What a cracking camp, eh? Beautiful end of the road, this one. And uh, so we're going up towards the point. So it is really windy, so I'm not sure how the mic will cope. Uh, is that Clawclands? Is that how you pronounce that? Sorry, for Scottish folks. Clawclands. Clawclands Farm is up there. We're going right to the end of that point there. In this howling wind. Lovely, it's crack on. Let's go have a runner here, plenty of room for her here. There's all fences here to guard from the sheep, so she should be all right. Whoa, it's fresh today. What a beautiful view. Look at that Oli Island. Amazing, eh? There's Christine on that camp. Cracking. Oh, 
<laughs> that wind is so fresh, beautiful. Certainly blow the cobwebs away. Wow. Oh, looking across the uh, glens up there, beautiful, all the sheep in the fields. Shouldn't be lambing time, that'd be nice. Let's crack on. Come on! There's a wee little burn coming off the glen. There's a nice little memorial cairn here. This is nice. I love to see these. They're really pretty as well. Great sky. It's a bit like the one over at uh, Galloway. The cairn where I uh, put a stone for Christine. But a uh, tiny one. Obviously some lost souls there. Lovely eye. Right on the little wee burn running off the mountain. Really lovely. That's a pretty one. Lovely. How nice is that in the middle of nowhere, eh? With this stunning view. There's Christine down there looking across Lamlash Bay to Holy Highland. Lovely. Running into the sea. Cracking. Oh, look at all the driftwood here. Tons of it, absolute tons of driftwood. I'm just coming up around the point here. Oh, it's a bit of a, is that a World War II shelter? Let's go and have a look. Oh, we've got here, Sky. It looks uh, like a World War II bunker. Uh, the Scottish weather has took its toll. It's all crumbled down to the brick. Let's have a wee look round if we can. In the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the remotes. Which is a tiny one, never seen one like this before. Here we are inside. Let's just have a look. This is a gunner's position here. Looking out to sea. Out to the Firth, Firth of Clyde, and uh, Holly Island. Is that the uh, Tibet Monastery there? We can see on the bottom of the cliff. I don't know. But uh, looking at this reinforced concrete, World War II gun emplacement or bunker. Wow, amazing, eh? It is a small one. Outside again. Oh, lovely. Here, Sky. Yeah, I never seen one that shape. It looks looks lace, late World War Two to me. Looking down the glen there, all the lovely Scottish gorse, the yellow gorse. Christine's just down right down there in the bay, and you can see Lamlash in the distance. Lovely. We're getting close now to the uh, Clockland Point and the Hamilton Rock. Is it Peter Island? I'm not quite sure, but I'll put it in the title. There it is there. The little island full of gannets, cormorants, curlews, oyster catchers. Let's go around the point, shall we? Have a look. Well, it's a bit wild up here. Wild and windy. Hope you can hear me through the mic. So he's chopping up a little bit. There's a little Hamilton Island there. It's Peter's Island or something it's called. Uh, full of birds, loads of birds on there. I can see loads of shags and uh, cormorants. There's bird life everywhere. Looking back towards Lamlash Bay, Holly Island and Lamlash Bay. All right, it's crack on. It is really windy. Wow, look at the sun shining through the clouds with the beams of 
look like uh, Star Trek transporter beams, ray beams coming from outer space. Lovely. And a little bit of blue sky up there. Nice. Oh, we've got another bunker here. There's another one there, look. So it was pretty strategic point to protect the bay, I should presume, Lamlash. That's, that's the uh, second bunker we found so far. Nice. Got to watch your foot in here. Oh, this is lovely. A lovely walk this is. We're coming up to a point here. I hope you can hear me with the wind. It is really windy. Bit of a north wind, uh, really uh, biting wind as well. Oh, what we got here? Got a bit of a some cliffs or something. Let's have a look, eh? I'll turn you around. Wow, look at that down there. Wow, amazing, eh? Lovely. Sky. What we got here? Got a little bit of a ridge going over the cliffs. You'll see this as I see it, folks. What's over the other side? What's over the other side? Ah, oh, those rocks down there. Oh, some nice deep water there for fishing. There's birds soaring everywhere. That must be a cliff or something, or an updraft. For them to uh, catch the uh, the layers up there. What we got up here? What we got up here? Oh, to the top. This walk goes all the way around to Brodick. Wow. Oh, look at down there. Look at that down there. A tree or something, driftwood. Oh, this is truly remote. Birds soaring above the uh, cliffs up there. Got all mouse burrows and rat burrows and all sorts everywhere. We'll go down to the next fence house, guy. Lovely. I love it. The wilderness eye. Beautiful. All right, what's over the next ridge? Wow. There is Goat Fell, and that is Brodick Bay around the corner, so it's not far around to Brodick. There you can see a ferry going out. Wow. Wow, what a viewpoint. Wow, look at that down there. Whoa, over the edge of the cliff. All the way down there. Beautiful. Wow, this makes you feel alive. Look at that crystal blue, blue water down there. You can see the ferry going out of Brodick over to Landrossen. You can see the mighty goat fell up in the clouds. And the trail goes all the way up to Brodick. A lovely walk. But uh, we won't be going much further. There's loads of birds soaring up there. They're all gulls. There's no eagles. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Looking back from where we've come from. Beautiful, beautiful Scotland, Isle of Arran. Right, Sky. 
That's it, we'll make our way back, Bab. Wow, on top of the world. bunker let's go inside out the wind oh it's similar to the other one similar construction let's go and have a look inside oh windy oh this one's clean this one is spotless there's the lookout here we are Blimey. 80 years ago soldiers looked out of here Amazing, eh? See if there's any enemies, see if the uh, Nazis are coming or the Germans. Blimey. And there's a the little wee little island there, Hamilton, and the big island. Holy Island. And the lovely yellow gorse there. How beautiful is that? Looking into Lamlash Bay out of a World War II bunker. Amazing. Oh, I found myself somewhere out the wind. Well, oh, that wind's bloody... Oh, really vicious, the wind is. But uh, we've got a nice a cosy spot here out the wind. Yeah, I think this is a, some sort of animal slurry for all the animal waste. Never seen, never seen the like before. That's, that, this is, must be running down the hill, the slurry. Does it look like oil when it's running off the... the uh, Glen, I don't know. It's uh, beautiful because it's lovely. It's lovely gorse coming into full full colour now. It's like gold, golden emeralds on green heather. Beautiful Scottish gorse. Looking here across the uh, towards Holy Island. A lovely eye. We're well out the wind here. It's beautiful. The sky's loving it. Absolutely, and the sun is trying to come out. The sun is trying to come out, which is nice. But uh, I'm going to have a bit of chocolate and uh, an orange. Fruit and chocolate, keep the energy going. Because I'm an old man now. <laughs> Nearly bloody 70. But uh, we'll keep rocking, eh? We'll keep rocking. We'll rock till we drop. Rock till we drop. Oh, the sun's coming out. Bloody lovely. Anyway, I'm going to have a quick break here. And we'll get back to Christine. And uh, I'll show you a bit about uh, Lamlash village itself. Lovely little village. Even though the Wi-Fi is difficult and there's hardly anywhere to park actually in the town. Which is a shame. Bright Park, when it says no parking home, I, I still park there. It's only, they're only advisories. You know, you're going to be very unfortunate for someone to knock your van and ask you to move. Though you may feel uncomfortable in those type of places where it says no overnights. 
They're only advisories, guys. They're not the law. They're not the law. It's just advisory notices, that's all. But uh, as you know, you want to feel comfortable, don't you? But uh, I stayed there. No trouble at all. Nobody knocked my van. Lovely. So uh, I'll show you that when we get back to Christine. I might get the drone up as well if the sun comes out on the Ollie Island a bit. It's all a bit hazy for the drone. Won't be very good with the drone with all this haze. Lovely. Just going to have suck me orange and now have a munch on some chocolate. Catch you in a bit. <laughs>